Hey, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks for coming back. Sorry it's been so long since I made a tutorial. I've been a little busy. Just trying to stay cool in this uh, hot, hot Midwestern weather. Uh, speaking of weather, I'm going to show you how to make a quick little lightning bolt. It's really easy. It's not going to take very long. A few steps. Um, so uh, what I've got right here is a uh, uh, picture. I was trying to find something that had some clouds in it so we could look kind of stormy. Uh, There's just some free picture I got off the internet. Uh, so uh, just follow along with these steps. Uh, I may be a little brief, but uh, I'm assuming you have at least a little bit of uh, Photoshop knowledge so you can follow along with what I'm doing. If not, just pause it, go back, uh, try again, and you should get some good results. Okay, so I've got my basic background picture here. This is 800 by 600, 72 dpi. I couldn't find anything that was a higher resolution for picture what I wanted, so if you used a higher resolution picture, it might give you a little bit different results, but right now this is 72 dpi, 800 by 600. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add a new layer, and on this new layer, we're going to, this is going to be the lightning bolt layer. It's actually really easy. All I have to do is I have a black foreground, white background color. I'm going to use the gradient tool, just the straight gradient, you know, black to white, straight line. Okay. Now on this uh, new blank layer, I'm going to draw a gradient, but I'm not going to do a gradient from one side to the other like that. Okay. See, that's a nice gradual gradient. It goes from black to shades of gray to white. Because when I do the lightning bolt effect, it makes it a little too bolty, a little too rough looking. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to make the gradient smaller, just a small little amount. See right there, so it's going to be a sharper delineation. See it goes black, gray, white, so it's a sharper delineation. You'll see what happens when I make the bolt here. Okay, so on the new layer, gradient, sharp gradient, so do it a small one, not all the way across the screen. So we got a sharper black to white. Okay, now let's do a filter, render difference clouds. Okay, see that like squiggly line down the middle? That's going to be our lightning bolt. So let's do an image, adjust, invert. Okay, there's the lightning bolt coming out. Now we need to uh, get that so it stands out. So we're going to do an image, adjust. Now we could do this um, uh, lightness, darkness, or brightness, contrast, or levels. Uh, the level seems to do it a little better. Okay, and now here at the levels, I'm going to drag the, the darks on the left-hand side. Okay, see how that's making the lightning bolt stand out? There you go. Stand out, stand out. Okay, now just take the mids and do the mids the rest of the way, and it's going to clean the rest of it up. There you go. Okay, if I do it all the way, see, it just makes it a, a tiny little line. We don't want that. We want to have a little bit of that fuzziness. There we go. Okay, so mids toward the right and the, or lows toward the toward the right mids uh, tweak them a little bit to get that final lightning bolt okay there we go now here comes the cute part well here before we do that okay let's take a paintbrush I've still got the black since I'm working on a black layer I can clean this up a little bit see I'm just doing the black a little bit and I'm getting a little bit of those spots that are sticking out and if you got any out here in the open area you can uh, darken those and uh, get rid of them so we just got the lightning bolt okay now with the lightning bolt layer it's super easy just take that and set this layer to screen and say it with me what does that do it makes the black invisible pow, pow, there's a lightning bolt wasn't that easy okay now what we're going to do is tweak it a little bit so let's take that lightning bolt layer and I'm going to do an edit transform skew you can you can do skew distort whatever you want to do obviously because you can't really make the lightning bolt go where you want to when you first create it so we're gonna move it okay I want the lightning bolt to go from up here in this area the upper right of the cloud down here to the tree so I've got it set to skew so I'm gonna move that end of the lightning bolt over that way okay and this end down here by the tree I want it to come in the middle top so skew that a little bit okay that's good hit enter there now it's skewed okay see that's the black and white layer is skewed with the lightning bolt okay I'm still on the black and white layer take my brush tool with the black and all I gotta do is just erase the lightning bolt just I'm painting black over top of it see what I'm doing I'm just painting black over the lightning bolt but you can't see it because it's set to screen okay so I'm just cleaning that up right there 
Alrighty, and then up here at the cloud in the upper right, I'm just going to do it a little bit, clean it up so it's going to be coming out of the cloud. There you go. So there's a bolt from cloud to treetop. Now what we're going to do is tweak that a little bit to make it look a little more realistic. It's very easy. So I'm back on the background layer, the one with the cloud and the tree. Okay. And just take my dodge tool. Dodge. And I've got a not too big a brush. Okay, go down here to the tree. And I'm going to lighten that a little bit because where the lightning bolt is hitting, it's going to be lighting up the tree. Obviously because the bolt is bright. So it's going to lighten up the tree. And I've got just a little bit of little bit of lightness right there and then up here at the cloud let's just lighten up a little bit where it's coming out of the cloud and there you go it's just that easy wasn't that easy yeah why don't you go ahead and try that make a lightning bolt you could do other effects with this I suppose you could make a, some type of a, a, you know Dr. Evil looking lightning bolt coming out of a machine or you could uh, do it coming out of your fingers or something you could uh, just do a different layer for each lightning bolt and uh, apply your uh, you know your render uh, difference clouds and then uh, change the uh, you know the lighting so it's a brightness contrast or the levels to uh, sharpen the bolt up and then trim it with just using a black brush and painting over what you don't need so wasn't that easy alrighty I hope you enjoyed that so uh, if you got any questions just uh, leave me a comment uh, if you got any suggestions if there's some type of uh, tutorial you might want me to make so once again, this is uh, Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks for visiting and have a great day.